on our way to the hot air balloon. Shout out to the bonnet crew. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm always used to. You ain't married to a black woman if you ain't used to seeing that every morning. What's up, everybody? This is Bricks. And Chanel. Come with us on our journey to Rainbow Riders. Rainbow Riders Inc. is the largest hot air balloon business in the Southwest since 1983, with locations in Albuquerque, Phoenix, and Colorado Springs and over 40 balloons in their fleet. We checked in at 4.45 in the morning, signed our waivers, packed up the trailer, and we were on our way. Our flight team drove us about 45 minutes to our launch destination. While we were on our way, we discovered that the past six days had been canceled due to monsoon season. So we were lucky to have chosen that day. Looks like my constant weather research finally paid off. And this location has the least amount of cancellations. How often do y'all hear rain in the desert? So lucky us, we were able to do this and for our anniversary. The flight team checked the weather and wind conditions at the launch spot and determined that the conditions weren't ideal, so we traveled to another location. And we are almost there. After about 20 minutes of setting the balloon up, we were ready to take flight. There were four balloons taking flight that day and we were the first to launch. It was only in the mid 80s, so there was no need for coats or any warm clothing. The employees told us that the temperature in the air would be the same as the ground. You can definitely feel those flames. As you can see, it burnt my head. And up, up and away we go. The pilot told us that we'd be flying at roughly 5,000 feet in the air, getting a great view of the Sonoran Desert. Look at how small those cars are down there. How do you like it, babe? Don't do it. This is so cool. After about an hour of flight time and seeing various parts of the Arizona landscape from the sky, it was time to start our descent. While landing, we were instructed to keep our hands on the harness to brace for impact, but you know me, 
I'm not gonna miss this opportunity for footage. So here I am, breaking the rules again. For the culture. During our flight, we made two new friends from Canada who surprisingly did the same exact trip as us, but in reverse order. Pilot deflates the balloon by pulling a rip line, which opens vents located on the sides of the envelope, letting all the hot air out. Let's talk about getting in and out of this basket. It is not as easy as you think. It was a little difficult, being as though I had a dress on. But hey, I did it with the help of Daddy on my side. Whoopsie! These guys work so great together. I mean, I've never seen anything like it. It was almost like this was something they do for fun instead of it being for a job. Perfect. That was fun. Enjoy the first flight. That was real fun. Look at this. Uh-huh. Now it is customary after a hot air balloon flight to toast with champagne. So our pilot pulled out a couple of bottles and an assortment of mixes. My favorite was the prickly pear. That one was fire. As you can see, prickly pear is pink in color and it comes from the prickly pear cactus. It's shockingly all natural with a sweet and fruity taste with hints of raspberry and watermelon. And yes, it was delicious. So he popped the top, and you already know what comes next. Time to pull up. Yeah. And shout out to the pilot for double pouring the drink and not spilling a drop. the champagne so it's off to the Grand Canyon. They don't believe in wasting so they let us take the rest on the ride back. And of course we were drinking with our Canadian friends. And in case you didn't know Canadians can drink and they're hilarious. They ran out of prickly pear so we had to use orange juice but hey it was still good nonetheless. For a bucket list experience, I gotta give Rainbow Riders two thumbs up. The staff was cool, sights were amazing, they're drone friendly, and the drinks were good. <laughs> <laughs>